All right, so I want to show you some examples of um, quadratic functions where there's one real solution, uh, one solution that is a real number, uh, meaning it's not an imaginary number, which you haven't dealt with yet. Um, so, um, but so, but don't get tripped up when there's one real solution, one solution of the kind that you'd be looking for at this stage. Uh, so, I mean, what does it mean to solve quadratic functions or quadratic equations? Um, basically, you're looking for the roots of the um, function, meaning where it crosses the x-axis. So, this point would be a solution uh, to this function, and this point would be a solution. And that's why, you know, when you're solving these um, algebraically, you you know you do like for this one 3x squared plus 6x plus 2 you could do something like 3x squared plus um, 6x plus 2 equals 0 because you want to know when does y equal 0 meaning when does it cross the x-axis and then if you're able to factor these you can use that method where you set each one to 0 and then you figure out the value you know you know sometimes two values of x sometimes only one sometimes no values of x um, for which it would be true that this thing would be equal to zero. Okay, so um, the way you can tell um, if you're not going to solve these algebraically, if you're, if you're just, just going to graph the functions, is a, a quadratic function with two solutions, which is, which is pretty normal, would cross the x-axis twice, like this. Boom, boom, right? So that's, that's pretty typical. Um, here are two examples, though, where there's only one solution. And uh, so y equals negative, uh, negative x squared plus 4x minus 4 um, only has one real solution. And that real solution is right there. And what you notice is the parabola actually just touches the x-axis. It doesn't cross through. It just touches it and then bounces back, in a sense. Um, so another uh, similar example here. Uh, y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Um, if you were to um, solve that algebraically or solve it by graphing and looking for uh, the root, um, you'll see that there's actually there's only one solution here because it just touches. It doesn't cross through twice like that. It just touches the x-axis. So a solution is, you know, uh, a solution. When we talk about the solution to a quadratic equation or a quadratic function, uh, we're looking for the values of x such that y is 0, meaning where it touches or crosses the x-axis, if, if it does so. Uh, you know, some parabolas don't, uh, don't even touch um, the x-axis. So, um, so the, the kind of key here is uh, just graph it um, on your graphing calculator or online program, or whatever you, you're using. If you see it just touch the x-axis, that means there's only one uh, real solution.